do that. I don't know what's up with this little thing, but we're going to mess with that for a second. <coughs> that, you know, does something there. Hello, everyone. It's Tuesday. Time for some tweaking. Tweaking. She has moved on me and camera's being weird. And <coughs> I'm, I'm, ha I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Izzy fixed me drinks and I think she sampled them before she gave them to me. Could be, because she's also a little, you know. Coffee and wheezy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sneezy. Mm -hmm. Y'all too, just More sharing. More so than usual. Sharing things. All right, do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. Otherwise, I do not know that you're here. We'd love to know that you are here. If you're new, you know, do all that YouTube business where you like, subscribe, you know, like the video, subscribe, and then you ring the bell, and then you get notified when we do this. And we do this four times a week. We took yesterday off because we had our March Mixed media mastery. Marathon. Marathon of masteries and mayhem. <laughs> Merriment. <coughs> Maybe that's what we should do. Merriment of mayhem. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know, submit your M things for next year. <coughs> Let me say hello to everybody. Let's see here. We need our participants. All right. Y'all ready for this? All right, Tammy Odom has changed her name, and you put the at symbol in front of it, so then you end up at the top of the list. I don't know if you know that, Tammy, but you may want to go back and change it, because some people may not know, and if you hit, you'll have to hit at, at. <coughs> FYI. But we've got Tutu Holly, that's Tammy Odom. Adria is here. Angie, our curious, that's Miriam. Barbara Poole, Becky, Brad, Candy, Carrie, Charmaine, Cookie Wookie, that's Mo. Darcy, Dana, Deb C, Diane, Elizabeth O'Connor, Erna, Estella, Gerald, Glenda. Hello, Glenda, you are back. That's awesome. Griffin Shell, that's Rhonda. Hoarder Paper Crafts, that's Mimi. Isabel, Jeanette, aka Jeanette. Jennifer McKinnon, Jennifer Scott, Just Me, Lexi, Linda, Lydia, Marguerite, Maya, Naomi. Naomi, I'm getting weird emails from you. Can you confirm or deny that those are, I don't know, something weird's happening. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, Panka, Renny. Hello, Renny. It's been a little bit. Sherry, Silver Granny, that's Lynn, Star Traveler, Linda, Sue Davis, Susan Bilyeu, Suzanne Fernandez, SWO, that's Sherry, The Shelley Studio, that's Margot, Tina Sponberg, and Veranda. That's everybody that was in my list. If I missed you, it was not on purpose. Give me a pinky hello hand or just a hello or a who's it, what's it, and I will uh, make sure that I say hello back. There you go. All right. Uh, off to you. Do you need to just go topside or where, where do I need to go? Oh, yeah. wait, wait. One second. Because it is officially April 2nd. That means y'all need to head on over there to the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group because there are tons of new things happening because it's the beginning of the month. So we've got the Scrap Swap that's headed up by Rhonda. We've got the uh, Swap Whatever You Want. Just work it out with your partner, head it up by Becky. If you want to know more about it, you can click over there on there. We've got the new color combo, which is teal, magenta, and cream. Very excited about this one. Uh, let's see, okay. And wow. collage prompts. Sort of headed up by me, but really I still left Eddie's name on it because I do help him, or you know, like, you know, I bothered him about it. <laughs> I made him say it whether he liked something or not. <laughs> so I felt like he was, you know, part of it. So you're going to give him a little in the uh, Yeah, crowds. I'm leaving him in. Um, but then what I did, and I don't know if it counts, the color combo people police will have to let me know. But I also did like the main, you know, events thing. I did it in the color combo and I made the little collage prompt thing. I did that little digital collage. Mm -hmm. Does that count? I'm a graphic designer. Did you know that? Well, now you know. Yeah, if you know, you know. Okay. So, all of that information can be found over there on uh, Facebook. There'll be uh, links. Well, Naomi says that the reason she changed is because her email address was hacked. Yes, okay. She'll that makes you sense. a new one. That makes sense. Yes, please do. Because I was like, Oh, and Lexi. Odd. Lexi. I see Lexi's name there. Good. She's here. Thank you for the paper. <laughs> Mariah finally figured out who sent it to yeah, me. Yeah, Lexi told me. She's like, oh. hey, by the way. And I'm like, fantastic. And I gave her a little sticky note and said, hey, you need to put that on there. 
a cool paper stuff. Yeah. I, I'm liking on it a lot. That's right. And the full Maker's Creative Collab prompts are Flip Fly Flora Fauna. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> She's taking care of me. Love it. Uh, I'm going to have to dig out my, my flies. Yeah. And if you click on the post that I did about the collage thing, there's information there that you might find helpful. All right. There you go. I think that's it. Did I cover them all? We've got collage prompts, two swaps, Maker's Creative Collab. That's the quadfecta of things. I don't know. And I don't think there's a napkin swap because um, Maxine didn't reach out to me this month. So she usually lets me know beforehand. She might just be throwing it up there. I don't know. <laughs> well, the reason that I, I found I'm... it is because I could see it. Mm -hmm. I had it stuffed in a shelf over here. Yeah. I know I can't believe it's more popular. I, I'll tell you what the reason is. is because people, they do what I did. Where they just use a little bit of glue and it doesn't stick. You got to just saturate it. Soak it in. Soak it in. Mm -hmm. And if you put multiple layers on, oh, I can show you that. Let's just start with that. All right, let me go top side. Go on top side. Okay. So, I don't know if Hi, you buddy. remember. Hey, Are Gina. we there that? Mm-hmm. We're there. Oh! Hey! Hold on one second. One second. Good job, Tina. Hey, this is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together, we, we are PM Artist Studio. I don't know if that was on a key. My ears are so messed up, I wouldn't know. I was trying to match you because I can hear. <laughs> I don't know how well. Oh, there you go. This ain't a music channel. <laughs> okay. So, I struggled with this. And it's one of the reasons I don't like to do... Because I probably spent five hours on this. Oh, I yeah. spent half a day fussing with this. Mm -hmm. Number one, I went in and I did a whole bunch of colored pencil work, which I then covered up, most of it. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and mostly in these areas where I wanted to give a little bit more depth to these and an emphasis to these this turquoise and I want you to see that matching there yes yeah, that's color matching that sucker up there with colored pencils I was even impressed with myself <laughs> just she wanted y'all to know that yeah now I did keep my my that vertical line in there it did cover it up some in some places I put in that's good it needed to be broken up I know sometimes you just love a, a good just Bold Good straight line. bold line, line. yeah. Boom. Yeah, we got some of those later. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. That's the other collage. Okay, so I had this area up here where it was turquoise and it was going off. So I colored in with colored pencil here this burnt orange color. I don't want you to look at that color matching. Sandy's very happy that you have the scarf on and it goes so well with that shirt. <gasps> I, I know. I didn't wear a Sandy scarf today. I, wear, I wore my old tried and true. I love this scarf. I stole it from her. Value Village. I love it. I never went there that I didn't get a scarf. <laughs> okay. So here's what I did. And it would have been really entertaining for you to watch this because about three layers in, I suddenly thought, why am I putting all this extra paper on here? I would just get my, my so I got out my clean out mixture, you can tell, mm -hmm. and some white paint. I put the white paint down right in this area, can you tell? Mm -hmm. And worked out from there. <laughs> now the paper... <laughs> well, I came up and I was like, well, you've done something there, and I know that you've done something, because, I mean, it was like puffy. It was puffed up. If you kind of hold hold it to the side, because you can see, I don't know, it's going to be hard in the camera, but it's, it's puffy, because she kept adding paper there. <laughs> There's about four layers of paper there. I used up a lot of my fancy paper, which I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so then I just, I, I just carefully kind of redistributed and, and blended that in, in in all these different places because I think that was the problem. There was just too much going on there. You didn't know yeah. where you were supposed to look, yeah. and that's why I did that. Mm-hmm. 
and did a little bit more shading in certain areas to emphasize, you know, the the turquoise shapes, which I, I love those. I don't know what stencil that is, but I really like it. Oh, the the crosshatch thing? Yeah. Yeah, that. that's brands and it's um squared hatch hatch squares. Something well, like anyway, that's all that There's, remained here, and I, I don't even know what this little bit here is. It's just some, yeah. I don't know what it is. But anyway, went around the edge here with some colored pencil. Okay, Sherry. Emphasized a little bit more of that red-orange right in the center part of that flower there, and hit that in spots here and there. Yeah, that was more colored pencil. And, of course, I this, this strip here. You saw me put that down. And I just, I, I don't know. I think it's done and I think it works. Yes. I like that and I, I agree with this. Excellent. I think it's ready for a signature. You want me to see me sign it? Oh, there you go. I don't see her sign it on camera. I mean, she might as well do some of it on camera. <laughs> she started it. Oh, that's kind of rough. Well, it is textured. There you go. All right, Mariah, you can put that in the shop. Oh, you really? You want to put it in the shop? All right. Well, I I'll, mean, why not? I'll put it in the shop. Uh, once I, I'm, I'm through with it. Okay. And, and, you know, this really, might be that's... one of those weird ones. I, I'm not, I don't know that I have a, a map for it, but. Well, it might require a custom map. Not like this um, stamp here. Look at that. I marked out the address, Mariah. Out of view. This is from, I knew who it was, Jolene. Didn't Dolly Parton do a song named Jolene? No. No? Mm -mm. Yeah, she did. Mm -mm. It's, um, and I think it's the one that's got people all up in arms about uh, Beyonce doing a, a cover of it, which is just hmm. so, so silly. I love Beyonce. Oh, Loretta Lynn. It was Dolly Parton, but it's uh, Jolene. There we go. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, Jolene, not yeah. Jolene. Okay, sorry. And I think we've had this conversation before, but we should have it, you know. Mariah. Okay, look at these. Ooh. i got to put them on something dark. Wow, those are very pretty. Well, i got to put it on something light, then. We've got... Two, two yeah. camps here. We've got the pale purple little lacy, yeah, lacy leaves, and I—I I mean, I don't know where from whence these came, but they're really wonderful. I think you can get them. Um, I want to say that I've seen them at like the craft stores and stuff, like maybe over in the embellishments or like wedding kind of stuff, maybe. Aren't they just the coolest They're very thing? Cool. Yeah. I mean, you can even see the veining in them and everything. Yeah. Wow. I thought those were really very, very cool. Thank you, Jolene. Yes. Not Jolene. <laughs> A nice little green paper here, too. I think it's Paris Map. Yeah. I found my Paris map and put it up. The one that I cut out the edges on. Oh, yeah. And I'm sorry. I'm doing this cough drop so I don't cough. Cough. I got stuff going down my throat and it's just disgusting. Disgusting. And I'm going to have to blow my nose so you're just going to have to hang in there. I'm, I'm not a quiet nose blower. Fair warning. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, look at that little jobber there. Like that side too. Really nice textures. Thank you very much, Jolene. Yeah. All right, Mariah, I'm handing you that. All right. Oh. Moving along. Here. All right, I don't want to forget about this, but remember we did this one and I didn't do anything with it. Here, real quick on the Happy Mail. And the oh, sorry. Oh, this is great. So, uh, one of our people ordered. Um, I don't know if she's been to a 
live stream. I can't say that I have or have not maybe seen her in um, in the stream or not. But anyway, just that's Emily, her cat. And uh, Emily decided before she even got to use the stencil to have a little num num on it and liked it a lot. Poor thing. <laughs> Cats like plastic. Remember Mr. Kitty used to oh, eat our used toothbrushes? Oh, plastic bags. Oh, well, and our toothbrushes. He used to steal them. You'd have to close the bathroom doors. So, yeah. It's kitties. a modified stencil. Hey, you've got a lot of great pieces she, that you can go ahead she and She did say that she would use the parts that were there. And, and uh, you know, glue them down somewhere. <laughs> but I always turn it over so you can't read it anyway because yeah. I don't like to, I don't like people to read what. Well, you can't, I mean, the words are sort of there, but it, it's, it was meant to be that way, the yes. where you can't necessarily, like, you know, read, read. Hey, Liz. Okay. So, you don't, mm -hmm. don't leave your stencil hanging out because your cat will eat it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do something with that. I'm going to put that right up here. Don't let me forget that. Okay. This craft colored deli paper. I highly recommend you get some of this. Have you noticed how much I've been using it? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if that's just because I I don't know. But we'll we'll talk about that. I don't know if I had those. Because that's not even what I wanted to talk about there. I'll hide those out. Get some of that stuff. It's good stuff. <laughs> Alright, we're going to actually do this I today. Can. Uh <clears throat> First of all, I'm going to hand this over to Mariah so that she can give me um, sure. measurements of a ATC because I can never remember what they are. Uh -huh. Two and a half, three and a half. See, I, I could hold that down there and trace around it. Mm -hmm. Poker-sized cards. U.S. Standard poker. But I think what I'm going to do here is take that up so it's right there. Oh, and goodness. then go ahead and cut this off here. I might not even need to do anything to that. Oh. Charmaine's cats ate part of her tulip stencil. She has a what? Two of her cats took uh, part in some tulip oh. stencil destruction. She, she, she now has a 5x7 instead of a 9x12. <laughs> Kitties. Bentley doesn't come around. I think he's afraid of for his he, life. He like he likes he likes um, paper. He's a paper eating kitty. <coughs> Pardon me. He likes. Um, Does it matter which side of the deli paper you print on? Is one side easier to glue? Um, yes, I think with that one paper, if one side does seem to be more coated, I don't know if it's waxed. I think some of that craft. You know, kind of deli paper obviously is because it's deli. It's meant for that sort of thing. But there are different ones. Now, I don't know if this one's going to work because I've got some stuff going on down here I should, on yeah. this side. So I, I'm going to nix that one off All right off hand. Okay. But I really... Uh, can you hand me... Do you have the handy the little clear thing with my finder. I do. Like, so handy. Look at did that. You, did you tell him the story about Brad? I don't know if I did or not, but here, it's so funny, because so Brad and I were at lunch, and he was like, hey, I, I was kind of thinking about, you know, would it be something kind of cool to create and, and, and sell in the shop a little finder deal like that? And I said, I don't really know. And he said, because we might be able to, like, do that in our machine. And I'm like, I, I don't know about that. But let us know. Like, if you wanted acrylic little sheets and things to make little viewfinders. And he's like, yeah, I just don't know about etching the X in the middle of it. <laughs> I just laughed. Because I was like, well, the funny thing is <coughs> that the X is really just there so she can find it. Because she kept losing Because <laughs> if you lay clear stuff down someplace... I can't find it. Yeah. And so I also... Did the outside. The X wasn't enough, so I, I went ahead and <laughs> colored blue around the edge. So I could for sure find that baby anywhere. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I really, I, li I like the top part of this, 
But we're going to do something with the bottom. And I don't know, maybe we should do the bottom with this. Because I kind of like this bottom. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. So here's the deal, Leo. Hi, Ellen. Where's my new scissors? My big mom is here. I want to create an interesting edge here that isn't this right here. So what I'm going to do... She has thought about this. Hi, Leslie. Okay. I might have cut off a little bit more than I wanted there, but up for pur our, our purposes here. Now you have to, now you have to line it back up if you take it apart. And hopefully I can get it so that it's point. There it goes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hand this off to Mariah, and she's actually going to. Um, but now this piece down here, you could actually go just the opposite. And put it down, cut, cut, follow the edge that you've got there, mm -hmm. and have it be part of an ATC. Okay? Now, that that's all in Mariah's purview. Y'all understand She's all that? She's the one that does that kind of nitpicking. Uh, I mean, I could do it, but it would be painful, and you would be totally unentertained, I promise you. I would be fumbling around with that for 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, so today, oh, here's the other piece that I didn't use, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, she'll probably show you those at a different time. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. We like to do things at about three streams. Okay, I have this piece of paper here, and I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. But I have some ideas, just not today. Hi, Susanna. And it hey. might have something to do with this, Oh, too. and Eddie. Eddie was doing some scraffito, although he called it scribbling. If you want the fancy word, it's scraffito. Yeah. On his plate. And that's spelled with a G. And Teresa Aragona has been um, doing some uh, additional um, gel printing videos, so check those out. She loved on Eddie. I, I did want to tell her that Eddie learned that from us. Okay, I'm going to hand these off to Mariah. And the reason I, I kept it out here is because I think it would be, this would be the time to go ahead and back it mm -hmm. with like heavy duty watercolor paper or something. <laughs> and then you can come in and do some other things. That way you've got your size established and you can deal with some edges as you go along. She just doesn't want to do it. Rhonda and she I just me don't to, want do, to do, it. do it. Okay, same thing with this. I'm going to be on an ATC kick, I think, here for a little while. Um, Mariah Make Monday kind of thing. Now, uh, this coming Monday, you know, coming up on the, what, 8th? Is that right? Yes. April 8th, I will be opening and going through my swap and make because my partner is Carrie. And so keep an eye out for videos from him regarding his the stuff that I sent him. And then it's all going to tie into our Makers Creative Collab, which is the Flip Fly Fauna Flora. Flora Fauna. Yeah. Anyway, this is the same thing with this. This is going to become an ATC. I just wanted to share that with you. And I'm not doing anything mm -hmm. else with it. Simply because I think it's really, I, I want to do the something else when I get it into card form. <laughs> we didn't do anything with this. No. We're going to. Fantastic. Okay, now remember my, my mixing? Um, not right now, Lexi, <coughs> but I might. But thank you for asking. Okay, so this, I was, I put down my little pieces oh, of, that's um, right. and you can see I didn't, cut, oh yeah, there it is. The I rest think it happens it. around one-ish, two-ish around here. Um, obviously some of it didn't make the, I uh, didn't make it out. 
Some I didn't make where. it. <laughs> that part, piece right there might have been stuck to the tape that I was trying to... See, you know, I did get kind of a, a line going there. I don't understand what's happening. I, I'm... What? What is this? Why is it here? I don't remember this thing. This was my mixing plate. Okay. Here. See? What is that? This is the orange, the red orange that I was making. Oh. Well, I'll pull it off. Maybe it'll make more sense then. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's the red orange that I was making for um, this. Yes. Teresa Aragona. Check her out. She's very sweet. And she does some cool things with her, um, she, she's doing here lately. I mean, I don't think she always does this, but, um, she's doing a lot with her sparkly mica powders on the gel plate. Okay. <clears throat> so this was my Thank mixing you, plate. And remember I told you, I wanted, I didn't want to have that paint build up to the point where I couldn't get right. it off of there. Right, right. With a, a, a gel pull. So, but I w didn't want it all to just be this, you know, mucky pink and whatnot. I wanted there to be another color there to indicate, you know, that there was right. another color. So, this is what came off. How did you get it off in like that? Did you just pick, pick it that off? That big a piece? It was that thick thing. She just picked it off. I just picked it off. I just started on the edge. Oh, that's, that's satisfying. Well, people have talked about skins before. Yeah. Pardon me. But anyway, that's what happened there. And I thought that was really... Yes, it really is. Really interesting. I could come back in and glue that down, a little offset there. Oh, I love that. Oh, and that too. And wouldn't that be cool? Very nice. That's okay. like it's oozing off of there. I like that. Yeah. But it definitely... What it does is it tells you, and I wish I'd kept those pieces, but by the time I got them off, they were still on the tape. Part mm -hmm. of them was on the tape and part wasn't on the tape. And, and they got all hey, Rita. rolled up and gooed up. Okay. So, that's that lovely pink color that we made for something else. I don't know what, but. I don't, yeah, the pink is a little like, what? But Something. All right, putting that over there. So, poor little Izzy. She, she had a really bad day the other day. Her kite got... The, the, the lake ate her kite. Well, actually, it got stuck in somebody's shingles. Then it blew off. We tried to catch it, but then it went into the pond, and we tried to save it. But I'm kind of irked because there was a dude that had waders on across the pond. He did not tote his wader butt over oh. to help us out. Well, you know, at that point, paper, it was probably pretty well goners anyway. No, it's all plastic. Oh. Yeah. So, I mean, it'll be there in the pond for a while. Want to go well, fishing for it. You know, it. karma will be, he gets his hook caught on the... I hope so. The, the kite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a very dramatic and okay. traumatic. So, she came upstairs, and we we didn't do this the other day. And I have this paper out here because mm -hmm. I'm going to show you what I used that for here in a minute. And I told her, I said, Izzy, those glue sticks are not meant for that glue gun. It's too hot. She says, well, I want to do it anyway. And I thought, well, what the hell? And I mean, she went through. She she has been badgering me. Nine glue sticks. Badgering me about that. I finally hid the glue stick. But then she started talking to Gigi about it. And I was like, good God. All right, fine. Here's the bag. Because I, I had, I'd put it in a bag that you couldn't even see what was in it. And that's why it came up in that one bag of stuff there. Like that. Because she would not leave me alone about it. Okay, so anyway, I've got all these little pieces, and aren't they cool? Mm -hmm. And I showed her how to do it. I said, you can't lollygag on this. you got to move along because it's coming out of there really fast. And she'll have to relearn how to do all of this when she gets the hot or the low temp gun. But anyway, I'm not throwing any of that away because, number one, it goes really great. Here's one of the first ones that she had was there was a little bit of the original glue thing in there mm -hmm. and I've seen people do things with that okay so now you know you, you're seeing that I want to do that one next where is it <laughs> this all leads somewhere y'all and I just want y'all to know that the art has started it's just art talk art talk okay so you can <laughs> see I use this paper 
and this was one of my watercolors and y'all have seen this just not in this present form yeah because this is what in these little hootie do's here inspired application of this and this because I thought wow those are in the same color range look at that that's very cool so I told Mariah I said if you if you really look at this you've got a horizon line here uh -huh. And then the moon is coming up, and you have these sort of, you know, uh, Stonehenge-type little edifices. And look, it even has a sh shadow and a highlight from the moonlight. Mm -hmm. Then I went back in, and I just did some clear-colored washes over the top of what was on mm -hmm. here, because basically it was blue and yellow. Yeah. When you saw it, it was just blue. But it's that heavy-duty watercolor paper that I don't really like very well. And um, I, I didn't, I, I didn't feel bad about. Where did she post that, Lexi? Lexi said Eva posted some of her hot glue squiggles. Oh, she didn't post it in Makers. I don't think. Maybe she did. I think it's really great because it, and what it does is it creates a textural mark, mm -hmm. and you know it has that raised surface. It just and they're kind of glossy, so it's different. It's kind of yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then I came in and did some colored pencil work in here to get that Pink. into the same. <clears throat> it's almost peach, but it's not quite. Yes. In certain places, you can see it's almost exact, but in the other places, then it's kind of not. Well, and the nice thing is, is that your the the glue gun wax stick things. Um, have a metallic -y, so yes it pearly pearly there we go pearly, pearly essence to it pearly and essence. i think that that was intentional on most people's <laughs> part okay so there's that she's been busy this is how she um keeps herself from cleaning okay i kept this one out i mean it's not anything um, oh hold that up because it, it really is quite <clears throat> awesome all right so what happened is I got in a big rush. No. Oh, no, this was later. Oh. Okay, so there was, remember I just took and squeezed that paint out there? No, they didn't know that. They didn't? So here's kind of the timeline of things. Y'all remember how she squeezed the paint out on the piece that's underneath there? That one. When she got all flustered, the red had gotten into places where it really didn't need to. So she just went ahead and kind of, you know, made it happen. So then she's like, oh, that was really pretty cool and very cool how it blopped into the little, you know, the, the pumice stony ball, small balls. And then she was like, oh, I'm going to do that to this other one because she had put the small ball texture stuff down. That's the golden, right? With the small balls? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> back to what happened here before Mariah so rudely interrupted. But she probably needed to tell you all that in case you didn't remember it. Anyhow. They didn't so, know it. Oh, well, they knew I did this. Yeah, but we hadn't really talked about it. It was like, oh, it had sort of happened, but there was no discussion. Okay, well, oh. we're, we're, we're cussing and discussing here. Okay, so I got in a rush to seal those balls in because they were rolling <laughs> all over the place. And what happened was I destroyed my cool effect of the underneath thing. Yeah. But not to worry. All you have to do is you just have to put a little, a light layer on your finger and rub it over the top of the balls and you get it back. But you can see where I, I glob, oh, glob okay. the texture mm -hmm. paste on there. Yes. They do warn you the texture paste, if applied heavily, it has a rather opaque effect. Well, true. True enough. Her words were never spoken. Warning. Warning. <laughs> All right, now, you, you remember what I did here. I just took and I just squeezed the high flow red all around here in different places on this. And I, I think this is done. I think it's quite nice. <laughs> Hi, my jet. Yes, okay. I, I consider that card to mm -hmm. be done. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. My nose is running. Yes, and you rub all over the things so they'll show up again. Mm-hmm. Yes. I took some decongestant stuff, but um, it was Izzy's. I, I can't take the adult, or I'd have to go take a nap. 
Knock All right, out. so this is one of a three-part series here. This is the next part. I love this. This is the one that Mariah Heat embossed. Oh, yeah, can we throw that other one away? Cause she kept grabbing it. And she just <coughs> kept, kept getting <laughs> stuff on my fingers over and over and over again. I was mm -hmm. just like, oh, my gosh, does this ever stop? So if you get that red re-inker stuff, it just, again, warning... If you use it on top of any type of sealed paper or a paper with a finish on it. Yeah, and I think that's what happened. I think I had th that on the slicky side of the deli paper. It just paper. wasn't, and its whole purpose is to be, because it's that, you know, like for the ink, or actually it's really to do the stamp. Your, uh, what do you call it? The seal. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's a special word for a marking. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's like the little nameplate thing. I think there's a word for it. Why am I? Okay. Anyway, but it's meant for rice paper, which is absorbent, and then it dries. Yeah. Yeah. That's the real deal. Yeah. Hey, Lisa. Okay. So, on this one, all I did on this one is put three X's there. And I think it's done. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, simple. I mean, you, you have two examples here. Could I come in and do the same thing I did here, over here? Yeah, I could. I don't want to. I love all of this movement and the, mm -hmm. the little, you know, whatevers. Mm -hmm. All over the place. And I, the reason I did this one is because it had a lot. Remember, it had big, big blobs of black on it. This one, you know, I did a much better job of putting that down. And once I learned to use the... Um, Sproingy, sproingy to apply my black texture Hi, Sheila. paste. I was much happier. Okay, enough of that set. Mm -hmm. All right, keeping those out. Keep this out just in case I want to um, do something on it because I've got that background going there. I'm keeping these pieces. I have a little envelope over here. <laughs> That's a good way to think about it, Leslie. I like that. All right. <clears throat> I don't know what to do to this. I don't know what to do to this. Oh. <clears throat> I have a place for that. It's right over here. Okay. Now, I think this needs some red. And I was looking at this. And I was just thinking. And you just visualize one section of this. And this stuff is really great. Because it, this, is, this is, I'm tearing the right way. Yes. You know, the, the sh it's the easy tear in direction on the paper. Mm -hmm. You'll see when I get down here to the end and I try to get it across here, I'll probably have a terrible time. But no, it didn't really. That it's actually easy. It works pretty nicely both ways because it's pretty thin. So it's yeah, it's, manageable. it's really not horrible. Yeah. But now see, look at I, that. I Voila. Voila. Done. Is you have reference to the squares, and then you have reference to the circles. The circles here are more geometric. These over here are organic. And I think that's really a very nice. Um, yeah. And I'll just make sure that I use plenty of glue. Mm -hmm. Now, see, here's another one. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know. Maybe that could. I kind of mucked up those ones. And hello, hello to everybody that is coming in. Uh, if I've missed you, just give me a pinky hello hand. Uh, otherwise, uh, do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. Give those thumbs the upsies if you haven't already. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, do all that YouTube business, and you'll get notified when we're doing this. Use plenty of glue. If it doesn't squish out, you haven't used enough. Some people have different theories about glue or processes. They do, but they're wrong. They're wrong. <laughs> they're not gluing it right. They're not doing it. <laughs> if you don't, you don't have glue squishing out there. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. If you don't have to give it a bit of a blot, mm -hmm. I don't Christy. think you've used enough to get a a, a proper mm -hmm. glue down. And I did make a little um, spot on my thing for my little scissors. Some people wait until the glue dries. 
I just make sure I wipe my scissors off. Yeah. See that? Now, I don't know what size this is for anything. No, I she hasn't, you know, stuck it's to kind any of a, standard. A weird. I should just save that and send that in a, in a, in a, you know, hoodie do. The nice thing about something like that, if you did want to frame it, um, I, what I would recommend doing is first going and like to home goods or even I think, you know, Hobby Lobby and all those other places, like when they have their big frame sell or, you know, when they sell their artwork stuff, but just look around at the ones that have the matting done. And if you don't, you know, you don't well, have you to keep the art that's in it. And the thing is, is a lot of times, like, what you would pay for the frame, the glass, and the mat, you just can't beat that deal. And then you just, you know, gesso over whatever artwork's in there and then just use that for something else. And then you can float it. Something like this works very nicely in a floated. <clears throat> yes, where you would just put the, the stick, the, the sticky, mm -hmm. the sticky tape. Yeah. The elevated sticky tape. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay, this, I, I don't know that it's done, but I, I like it. And that one is legit ATC size, I believe. Yes, it is. <laughs> and this one is also. I don't know what to Hi, do. Laurie. This will put it over there. This needs some more work. I just wanted to put my snail out of here because I want you to see it again in case you missed it the other day. I mean, it needed to show up I'll in just at stick least that three, over three, there. three streams. Now, I kept these because I think that... Um, oh, we should do something with that. Uh, this is more of Mariah's um, whatever. But I kept the little pieces and parts on these, and I thought, you know, she can go ahead and use either one of these, and I just I thought keeping mm -hmm. those all together would be a good idea. These are all going into the... Uh, um, Becky would like to know... Needs work. Becky would like to know, what is the name of the snail? Oh, I don't know. She doesn't have a name yet. Oh, it is a she. You may suggest name. <laughs> Okay, and this one, I think, is done. I love that. I think that one's done. Now, you know what would be cool with that one is if I found the fancy red paper that feels real nice. Oh, and yes, if I clipped weighted. And if I clipped the edges oh, to that fancy little... Mm -hmm. Same with this one. Okay, I think I've got... Okay, that's done. <laughs> Eddie says, Shelly. Shelly? She liked those. I, I don't have them. Any of that kind of makes me laugh. We have a friend named Shelly. All right. You cannot do anything to this one, Mariah. I suggest you don't pass it over here. Because <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that needs to be one fully completed by Patricia. Because if okay. it comes over here, you I'm have permission that. to mess around with those. Do Thank whatever you. you want. Okay. And these go into the done pile. Of ATCs. Okay, look at we're just humming right along here because I do have I do have some kind of exciting stuff to talk about here. I mean, not that this wasn't exciting, but this was kind of like it, it was a wrap up of sort of everything that was kind of created from yes. the last week. <clears throat> and I have all of my little watercolors, and I went ahead and put them in. Oh, Esmeralda. There's my note from Mariah. Oh, Penelope. Penelope. Oh, I like Penelope. Mm -hmm. Hi, Belinda. Okay, so these are all the watercolors that were in that that batch, and I really I, I needed I I just didn't have time to do enough cleaning to get everything where it needed to be. It is looking better over there. <clears throat> okay. I don't know what she's done or where she's. So put it. what we're going to do here on this is we're going to try some different washes. Mm-hmm. Because I think that, that that would be cool. You would be able, you're going to maintain the color that is underneath. Y'all remember, I think day one, actual texture. Yes, this all this is is glue. Yeah. And we never did get to see what happened with it. And I think it would be cool because they're right next to mm -hmm. each other. And I do have Izzy's permission. I, I asked her if that would be okay. And she said, Yes, that it would be. So, we're going to do that. Okay. But before I do that, I want to... 
<coughs> I might have to bust out my booze. I don't know if you should do that, but you know. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. All right. I, I have my do you have stepdaughter some? said it just enhances the effect of the medications. <laughs> Patricia. Patricia. <laughs> she was talking about alcohol. Yes. Okay. So, here, I'm going to do, those of you that didn't see this, this, uh, this is going to be great. We probably won't be able to do anything to this today, but I'm going to show you what, uh, it's kind of my, it was my signature pattern when I did batiki. It, I just come along and I will go and I will make lines. And, and seriously, this shows up in her artwork a lot. Both batik and otherwise. I don't know, Paula. Hurry up. <laughs> or take us with you. <laughs> okay, now, the bad thing is, is you can't really, I, I can't even really see it, so I know that you can't. <laughs> it is tricky, and, and it's like it's like gluing in a snowstorm. <laughs> but I called it my puzzle pattern. And one year, we hosted... Um, I don't know, some kind of art convention at Tech. <clears throat> and I made the button, I made the background for the buttons that were designed to give out to the VIPs. Mm -hmm. At the conference. I wish I still had one of those. I, th I was just thinking, wouldn't that be cool to have one of those? Or even a picture of, because we could recreate it. True. That would be fun. It would be. We could send them out to VIPs. Well, you can kind of watch the movement of my hand here and see what is happening. It'll become more clear later. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> I promise. And you know, this glue dries pretty fast. I don't know what our drying conditions are today. We had thunderstorms last night. It's been... It's, it's odd, again, because it's sort of chilly-ish outside, but, but that's because the big storm kind of came through last night, and yes, so it rained a lot. Just waiting for, you know, the sun to come out enough to start making it steamy. So. And if you wait long enough in Texas, you can just about rest assured that that mm -hmm. kind of crap's going to happen. <laughs> Christy wants to be a VIP. We do need to make buttons. That would be fun. I think you can order, like, on the... T Public, you know, our little swag, you know, the place to get the shirts and whatnot. I think you can order buttons of the things. So maybe we could just put your design on there and just have it available only as buttons. Okay. So we're going to let that dry. Oh, thanks. And this is basically the same technique I would use when I was batiking, but I would use my shanti and, a, and, a, and hot wax to apply to the fabric. And uh, and get that same sort of thing going on there. All right. And the VIP would stand for very important purchase. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So we're using the gel plate just to hold this in place. I wanted to start with the clear one because then we can get some ideas about what color we use on the colored ones, right? We're, we're tweaking it. I really do not need that. Okay, so here's the deal on this. This is where you really need to know your, why are you smiling? Oh, because uh, Eddie thought it was funny that I said very important purchase. And he oh. put dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, <laughs> this is where you need to consult your color wheel. Mm-hmm. Because if you put green over the top of red, you're going to get brown. If you put orange on the top of blue, you're going to get brown. Brown. Are you going for brown? Uh, I thought it would a little bit, but you know. Okay, this is already, um, th this is my washout. I don't have it written on there yet, but I, I need to. I have some brushes that are semi-clean here. Mm -hmm. Now 
okay. That looks cool, right? <laughs> that was good, Lisa. <laughs> now, this isn't a washout. Oh! Oh, goodness. Did you see that? I did. I don't know if they did or not, but... I... It was almost a hate crime. Okay, well, I don't like that at all. It's, this is... It's so opaque. opaque. <laughs> you want it to not be so opaque. <laughs> Not to worry, we'll just come in and there you go. Do a bit of rubbing around the cabin here. Uh -huh. Fritage it. Because I like how the turquoise and the purple go together and mix together. Oh, you should have done it in the in the um color combo. Teal, magenta. Cream. Well, we've already screwed up. We can't do that. Okay. Get it on the next one. Sorry. Okay. Another day. Oh, I know. And something else I was going to. Ooh, look at that. Fun. Fun stuff. So this is getting a watercolor effect using your acrylics. Just watering them down. Please keep in mind, if you do water down your acrylics, it does um, alter its binding abilities. So yes. it could make it kind of weird and crackly. It does. I just like people to know that we know. I just want them to know that I know. You know? Come on, run, baby, run. <laughs> you didn't scare it enough. Part of the thing is she can't hear me. She knows I'm talking, but she doesn't know what I'm saying. I, I'm really, I'm not hearing you. I know you're talking, but I don't really hear what you're saying. Very nice. And you will notice that it does kind of sit on top of the um, impasto, wasn't it? On top of the, um, yeah, it's impasto. So if you want to clean it off, you will lose some of your color. But if you don't want it sitting on top, you've got that option to come in and, you know, clean it up. Okay? Mm -hmm. so just put that over there. What's next? Give everybody a bit of a cleanup. Okay, so we discussed, you know, what happens here when you put complementary colors down. What transparent? Oh, my the snacks are attacking, attacking my uh, carousel. I'm going to get you one of those gra- hey. I'm going to get you one of those grabby arm things. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, I don't really- I want high fluid here. Um, okay. So, let's try- <laughs> The reason we're going to get along with yellow here is because we know when we put the yellow over the red, we're going to get orange. We put the yellow over the blue, we're going to get- are, are you just doing yeah. a, you know, a, just a, pri a, a primary color demonstration? No, to make I'm secondary? just saying that, you know, when you choose your colors, <clears throat> that you need to be thinking about stuff We got like a color that. wheel if y'all want that. It's over you there need on to the be website. thinking about stuff like that. Yeah, I thought you were going to make it brown. Becky has a grabber in every room of their house. I should, because uh, as a short person. Oh, yeah, she gets real upset. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> I'm 
I'm always selling. <laughs> You need to wash your brushes out before you dab them off on your paper towels. Then you won't be using some dead gum mini paper towel. True that. Okay. Now, what do we want? You can see some of the effects there where the lines are. If you rub over it, it might be a little... Yeah, you you need a new hootie do. I don't think so. I think no. what you're going to see here is more or less the underneath color, mm -hmm. rather than oh, it's holding it like like how it would in a batik. Yeah, that's more this. And you can go ahead and put your um, you can go ahead and put your color down and then put your impasto over your color if you want Hold to. Hold each layer of color. Yeah, layer. That's what you do in batiki. Yeah. You now, you're just, not ironing this out at the end. It's just, it yeah, is what it that, is. That's such a whip. Uh, uh, yeah. I really, there are parts of batiki I really did not like at all. Yeah. Uh, that was one of them. Okay. Now. We're going to go ahead and use, where's my magenta, there it is, quinacridone magenta. We're just going to put a little string out there just like we did, and I'm going to kind of come down here. So oh. we know that it's going to, number one, intensify where the red is, and hopefully we're going to get a really nice purple here. I don't know. We shall see. Hello, Leah. Oh, and that's, that showed up a lot better, too. I, well, because you have higher contrast. contrast. Your yellow is, is, you know. Well, and here's another little thought in this whole process of things. Certain colors, certain pigments are going to adhere or affect the glue differently. I'm just kind of trying to work that up in there so it looks more jaggedy because I think that that's going to be a nod to Izzy's yeah her original lines that were kind of in there that's awesome that's what we were expecting more than anything yeah especially on the blue side there all right, so what else do we have that we can use here that is... Will you hold it up into the technology oh. at this point? Because I think that's a good... So you can still kind of see where it is with the yellow, but it blended in more. But that you could, last yeah, one you, is On awesome. the yellow, you can really just see what underneath color, color was preserved by the glue. Yeah, slightly. Mm -hmm. And down here, you can start really focusing in on the patterns of the glue. Yeah. <clears throat> and remember, you can always go over, you know, everything with, again, you don't, it's not, it doesn't have to just be a one-time deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we use that sort of, um, the magenta, which is really, it always makes a beautiful uh, purple. Yeah. And just depending on how much blue or how much red, but you can just pretty much say for yeah. general purposes it will um and here's another like just so multiple applications of this same type of technique <coughs> you could do it with a a clear crayon uh you could do it with a candle stick like if you have candles that are you know clear or you know cream colored or whatever i think you would get the same effect um anything that is going to create a resist that's clear enough that it will hold whatever is underneath it the glue was just, you know, kind of a oopsie sort of, oh, hey, that's a great way to utilize that same technique. Right? Okay, now you can tell the difference. Okay, so you've got your magenta here. Now, this is the purple right underneath it. And you can see what happens. Mm-hmm. I'm 
I'm just going to do a little bit more blending there so that this, yeah. there's not quite such a, a harsh line there. Yeah. Yeah, and any of you guys that are, you know, giving this a whirl, uh, post it over to Makers. Uh, hashtag already fun. Well, yeah, a way that you could do it is you could go ahead and, and color your paper cream, put your glue design over the top, and then you could use your... Oh, the other two colors. Teal and whatever. And then you hashtag it with color combo APR 2024, and that's color spelled in the, you know, European, UK-ish way. C-O-L-O-U-R. I, I think that this, this is a much overlooked technique. Bye, Kim. And it, 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 it's something that is, is, is so simple mm -hmm. that I think people forget about it. Mm -hmm. I forget about it. But isn't it beautiful? We'll let that dry and I'll show it more at the end. But you can see this one, which is already starting to dry. And again, I could come back in <clears throat> now with my glue and draw some designs Pull around that here. that color layer in. And then go over it with another color mm -hmm. so that that would preserve whatever color was there. Then the new color that you put on would help in defining the the lines that you put down. Oh, and then yes, and Darcy, I was like kind of halfway through your your um, thing. She has been doing something similar with the matte white paint in a bottle for color combo. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's there's more. Than one and Darcy, if you want to put that video in, please um, put a put a link to that because yeah very similar and and I saw you doing the wash I, I got to the point where you were <laughs> you were very upset with it because it was um, blobbing and not blobbing in the way that you wanted it to it's about time to change the paper I've worn it out in places and when it yeah, starts like just peeling like, away wiping it off <laughs> okay <clears throat> now I just have to tell you about this polymer stuff whoa where'd that come from little wet stuff going on there. Okay, this polymer medium gloss. I used this on my, my project that we're going to talk about in just a minute, but I think I want to do this first. Yeah, I do. Okay, Mariah? Yeah, Patricia? Can you heat up your heat gun? Well, I mean, yeah, get your thing. Well, the reason is, is because I want to do some, um, <coughs> I thought would be a good thing to do an experiment on. Okay, so I'm going to do the matte side on one and then the uh, <coughs> slick side on the other and see if it makes a difference. Okay. I need the Distress Ink. Okay, what color? <coughs> um, the ink pad. Well, I know, but what color do you want? I'm thinking I want... I got, you know, purple, hickory, black soot. You want kitsch, flamingo. Well, what I really want, because I thought the other thing that would be cool here is to do that same technique that I did on that one, but I want to do gold. I want to do some gold bars here. Oh, okay. Okay. That was that was what I wanted to do on this to tweak it. Okay. So I think what I want you've got gold. Um. You know the the powder stuff. Right. I do. What kind of gold is it? Oh, so you just want to stamp it with the clear stuff. Not distress, because you said distress. I, I can't pen. hear you. The distress ink pad. Oh, what color? I want that kind of um, uh, tannish color. We're getting somewhere, y'all. Tannish color. <laughs> the rusty hinge. There you go. There we go. Okay, because I think that this is going to be, this is going to be very close to what I want here if she puts the gold powder on 
top of this, okay? Yeah. Now, I'm leaving enough here that we can see. You can see that this side is a little, the finish on it, and then you can see that side, okay? Yeah. I think there were some people in Makers I saw with the little mini um, waffle maker business. I, I haven't watched anything with it yet, or... But, yeah. All right, you got it ready over there, Mariah? Well, I mean, yeah. I, I really, I, I like this stuff because I can see that I've got plenty out there. And, you know, I, I'm a more is better kind of person most of the time. And if this is not the right color for this particular instance, we will just carry on until we get the right color. Mm -hmm. Maybe All not today, ready. but yeah. yeah. Push. Oh, wonderful. Sarah has one on order. I just, I don't know where to keep it. <laughs> no, that's, that's coming out kind of orangey, but I'm, I'm We're going to cover it in gold. It'll be all right. Pleasantly surprised. Okay, I'm handing mm -hmm. that to you. Okay. Which side is this one? Um, you can tell by looking that's at it. That's some more. And remember, this stuff does stay sticky for a long time. Yes. I'm still getting not, not the... Golly. <laughs> How's it doing? Is it sticking good? Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay. Oh, you need to put a pad underneath that. Where's your squishy thing? And you'll oh. get a better do to do. It has to do with your paper and your thing, and you need more squish. Oh, hell, that's going to mess up everything I got going on there. <laughs> She handled it. Okay, well, fortunately, I have another piece here. Okay, make sure you do the opposite side. Okay, this is the slicky side. This is the non-slicky side. Yeah, non-slicky, because this is slicky. I'm going to make sure I've got plenty of what do I have all right now. Here, I'm going to have to wobble uh, those. So, here. people have been doing, like, beads and all sorts of things, I think, in the waffle maker. I've really only seen, like, titles. I haven't watched anything. I saw something about beads. Didn't you do something, Paula? Or those bead things that you do, I think you could do in the waffle maker. <clears throat> I don't know. It all runs together in my brain sometimes. Well, I don't know if that helped out that much, but maybe some. Maybe. I'm just not getting it in the middle. Well, that was a better one. I'm, I'm going to do <clears> the <throat> last one. Skip those. keep waiting for my ears to open up during these, you know, mm -hmm. nose blowing sessions. It's such a glorious thing when it does. It is a glorious thing. <laughs> and then what really sucks is then you swallow and it, it closes right back up and you're like, ah! <laughs> you just had it for a minute. <laughs> you need to do this now I will say I don't know if you want to hold these up this uh, here's the slicky one first this is before now keep I have not wound it so these are you know don't touch it 
I but you can kind of, you can kind of tell a little bit of a difference just in how it grips. <clears throat> Okay, so that's the that was the first, and this is the second one. See, I think it's holding more on the grip on the you know non slicky side. So that's you know some good information right there. Yeah, you can you can see. I don't know; they look really similar to me. Yeah. Okay. Now let me. But you can visually see the difference in the size of the paper. Mm -hmm. I just don't want the surface of the stamp to become impervious to you know, the next layer of whatever you're going to put on it because it's slick with something. All right. That's my feeling. Did y'all get all that? I don't know that that's true because I know that there is a certain porosity in the surface of these. And I did a little bit from the back side, like Carrie told me to do. I don't know that I noticed a difference in the texture. But, you know, that maybe it's because this is thinner paper. You know, there's probably different factors to that whole situation. But there you go. It's basically the same color as the paper now. But look at that. Isn't that just splendiferous? Hi, Jackie. Hi, Maya. Okay, so... This is on the slicky side. This is on the, no. I'd say, did we do this? Okay, this is slick, this is not. I don't really notice it, any difference. There's not a huge one. It's hard to, you know. I mean, I, I don't, I, I think you'd really be hard pressed to, to see that. Okay, now what I want to do, and I'm not gonna do it, on camera because good god my cutting skills would drive you all crazy i can cut it you want me to do it um just cut them out and then i'll cut them into pieces but i match them up there in the middle well not sort of in the middle but you know somewhere because i don't have enough for just one how how much edge <clears throat> do you want to then i want you to cut right at the edge if you cut i want it even with the edge i don't want any edge showing okay Alrighty, that was fun. Hand that back to you, Mariah. What's next? <coughs> well, let's see. What time is it? Oh, we've got lots 45 of time. minutes. Lots and lots of time. I'll go ahead and do this because I might use some of these borders on the border of my my um okay let me tell you what we're doing here <laughs> and you all know how these my plans jello not concrete right oh right oh all right so mariah's you know encouraged me to um uh, start figuring out what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep back behind me here because it really is sort of getting out of hand. And I wanted to I wanted to do something with this idea of the um, crinkle crinkled paper and different stencils. And then we have a new Okay, I've got these are the ones that I would use potentially and I'll talk about each one of them and I know that might sound like I don't know redundancy whatever but I think it's important to identify ahead of time and it's not always true and sometimes you may change your mind completely but to have an idea to start out with okay why am I making the decision I'm making that's what I'm telling you right now okay so, these are the new stencils. From the other day. That I chose. Yeah. That um, I didn't get to. Desert Cracks. Yes. Now, you need to be an Artie Perk member for these particular ones. It's been now... When did I show these? 
this is sort of like how mud dries up in the desert after a flash flood when it's in low lying areas where there's yeah. lots of a, a very silty stuff silty. and it, it cracks and it buckles up. It's wonderful. Hi, Christopher. I, yeah. Okay, so that's this is this one. And oh, then Deb said she one. Deb said she'd cut the she'd cut the border off. She would cut the border off. Um, I think you can. I think you can too. On this one, um, I I don't think I would because you're going to have a lot of flopping up areas. Yeah, here. there's going to be some floppy areas. And you already have a bit of that anyway. I'm really I I don't think that I will. But you can do whatever you want after you buy. That's right. I mean, you know, yours is yours. Let the cat eat it. <laughs> let the cat eat it. Entertain we cat. don't recommend that. I don't, yeah, because I don't think your cat should be eating no. this. Okay, so I've got that. We're going to be making some papers to put on to my envelopes, my Amazon <laughs> Saved envelopes. envelopes. And I'll talk more about the butterfly later. Okay, this is just in case you want to get your envelope ready to go. All right. <clears throat> Butterflies catching up on my. I don't want you to see that yet. <coughs> okay, so this is our favorite pizza. Well, the kind that, you know, comes already prepared. My other favorite pizza is the one that I showed you with the, the big. That you can. The lips and you the cook tea. at home. Yeah. Sicilian, whatever. But, number one, they are super fast. Mm -hmm. And they're really, really good. And they have thin, crunchy crusts, which I like, personally. Yes. And. They're a little pricey, but it's good. They are a little bit. But I think, you, you know, you get what you pay for sometimes. And I feel in this instance, the difference in price is, is okay. Because it's what I like. And, and it, it's consistent. And it's and They have cool bags. <laughs> and they have cool bags. <laughs> So I want to create something like this to go on the outside of my cool little bags that I'm making to stuff stuff in. And right now I have my bag stuffed in my bags and I, I like a variety of sizes mm -hmm. because then you can, you know, sort of do what I did here. Okay. So here's my butterfly pattern. And I, I I messed up and I had to come back in and add another little piece at the bottom because I didn't have quite enough room there where I, I placed it. But this is my butterfly shape. Okay. Then I traced it over onto this watercolor paper. Okay. Where I'm actually going to do... Oh, sorry. I'm actually <coughs> going to do my um, <coughs> design. I, I probably went a little heavy with my lines there because I'm, I'm going to go outside of them. And then I got to thinking, well, it's going to be kind of hard for me to do that bottom part. See how there goes outside of the wing design there? Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking down here, but I don't know. Maybe there's enough room to do that. And I like the asymmetrical quality of this. Then it had cool words in here. Okay. Serve local revolution better together. Kindness. I love gratitude because you really don't see that right away. Mm -hmm. And I really want to try to do things like that. And you be you. I love that. Mod on. Peace, love, mod. And I, I, did I get them all? I think so. But I just, you know, I, I think that this is very cool, and um, I don't know who designed their bag. It doesn't have a name on it. Very good marketing to com company. It, it really <laughs> honestly is, and I, I, I love those bags. Okay, so here's the words that I came up with that I want to use somewhere out here in my design. Awesome. To put onto my cool little bag. Now let's talk about the construction of the bag just ever so slightly. 
She worked hard on this. I did. You can't gel print over those labels. They suck. You can, but you get a different... It, you yeah. can see the label forever and ever. Yeah. Just either try to rip it off, which I did on this one. I still uh -huh. have some gluey stuff there, but that's okay. I can I can deal with that. Extra sticky. Extra, extra sticky. <laughs> and I, I really... I reinforced my flap here because I'm going to have a little... Um, one of those little roundy things. Seal. Wax seal. No, roundy things with string. Oh. I don't know what you call that thing. You know what I'm talking but about. But yeah, thing. I know. Yeah. These things. I don't know what the name of that is. I don't know what the name of them is Anybody either. know? I'm sure there's a, you know. But I, I, I really, sometimes they irritate the dog do out of yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> because you don't know which way the string is going. You don't know which way to go. <laughs> And this string is kind of puny on these, but I think that these are really cool. Yeah. I just haven't decided what was I wanted to use them for quite yet. But one of these days. Marguerite says yo-yo. They're called yo-yos? I don't know. I don't know if she's making that up. Paula huh. says string doodad. Stringy doodad. Stringy doodads? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, I'm just fixing to make my own stringy doodad. Oh, Deb C says policy envelope tie. That sounds official. It's what? Policy envelope tie ah. okay well these are just going to be individual little things to put stuff in mm -hmm. and i went over these with the um deli craft paper yeah and just reinforce them i'm with. excited that you're using that and stuff I, up. I took this 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 part of the um flap for this came off of right here <laughs> this flap <laughs> And then it says, so happy we found each other. I think this is a, an envelope that came from Miriam. From Amazon. From Amazon. Yeah. But I thought that was really cute. And I, yeah. I want to leave that. I think that's really cute. Yes. So, that's what's going on here. With the project. Right, so, on the back side, we're going to, ju I'm just going to do papers. And possibly some stamping because we have new stamps. Shall I show the new stamps? Just, that was a great segue because I was wondering when we were going to get to it. You did a fab job. We also have a ton of new stencils in the shop as well. So any of y'all that have been over there, I'm sure you have seen some of it. All right. So what I thought I would do is dig out all of the flower stamps that I have. Okay. In every every stamp that we've ever made. Where are the other ones that I just get or that I gave you prior to the the Darcy ones? That should be there too. Okay. Rick Dar. Happy birthday, Darcy. It's what's coming on Thursday for you. And okay. some other <clears throat> So we've got a cool little Daisy. Darcy's Daisy, right? Darcy's Daisy. Darcy's Daisy. And then there. And then there is a little group of daisies. A cluster, because you know we a love cluster. a little cluster. We like clusters. And that was the other surprise. I should leave these up like this because they're making marks on those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the part of the reason I do that yeah. is so that way they don't mark up everything that, oh. you know, gets near it. <laughs> then we have a lovely little chrysanthemum. Dahlia. A what? Dahlia. Dahlia. From Dahlia. Sophia. Dahlia, Dahlia's Dahlia's Dahlia. Darcy, Darcy's Daisy, Sophia's Dahlia's. There you go. <laughs> and of course, like always, these come in a cluster as well. Brad's been clustering. He's feeling very clustery. He's in, yes. He's good at making the clusters. Okay. Now, you realize we've already got a whole bunch of other um, flower. I think seeing all the flowers together is going to be super duper cool. I think it's going to be cool. super, too. Sorry. It's okay. No, it's just ready. And the problem is, is it's just it's just drippy. It's not necessarily mucusy. Lovely. Yeah, it's probably more information than you needed. Okay, we have pie. And I am so happy to finally get... I've wanted some of these since forever. Well, because we've got stencils. Well, okay, so these are from Michelle Sharp. 
Um, there are the other tree stencils from Michelle. No, the uh, the tree stencils are from Lucy Ames. We do plan on creating some of the Lucy Ames trees in stamps as well. Now that we have the new machine that can produce this level of yes, detail. this level of detail. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just think. I mean, you could make your own forest here. Look at these. <laughs> They're all conifers. Can you see all of them at once? You can buy them individually. I, or did he? I don't know. We talked about that. I think we decided that it's best to keep them kind of in a set. Just because <clears throat> it was going to be kind of nutty for us to try to keep up with each individual one. So you got to buy them in sets. You, there's kind of the style one set, style two, style, or you can get all six. So, kind of the little skinny ones are together, and then the big chunkier ones are in a set together. So, because you, you're going to want more than one tree anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, gone. yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty... Yeah, about that. and if you look, so, you know, I do all the stampy offy business once I've <coughs> stamped with them. Look at that cool background that's kind of created there with not only the trees, but also all the flowers. It's just, it's fun, cool texture looking stuff. Plus, you already got a color down there. So, yeah. Well, yeah, that's one of Izzy's school paper things that I was like, eh. Like, they send information. <laughs> not her stuff. Well, there you go. And the other thing that I think, you know, I'm looking at these and I'm thinking about some of my my cards that have that Asian feel to them. Mm -hmm. That this would be a very cool thing to stamp and then mm -hmm. uh, emboss. Do we have any matte colored embossing powder? Uh, we have a, a navy that is kind of matte-like. And then we also have that one from, um, oh, Sethy. That wow one that's, uh... Oh, it's different colors. Colors, yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, I don't really want that. I want, I, I just like matte black. If we could order some matte black, I'd be ever so happy about that. Because I just, I, especially this tree right here, I just think that it would be... All right. So, that's it with... Well, there's kind of the... This is... And this is some of the stuff that Maya sent us. Um, there's that green. Oh, that's matte. Uh-huh. And, you know, this one red really does sort of matte out. But it gets kind of pinkish. Like it doesn't. Yeah, 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 and and it it, it has some different things in it. That oh, okay. Show up. Paula says the wow stuff. They do a, a good matte black. Well, <clears throat> I really like this green, and I think the green would be uh, it would be cool to you know how you can ombre your paint. Well, I think the Mariah's done it before. The problem is is you short sort of contaminate your powders once you start doing a a uh well you kind of have to spread out enough there but then like yeah then whatever you dump you're gonna have to either yeah, keep separated it, it or seems kind of wasteful a little bit but i can see you know having just kind of I come through and shake some of this in here then come back in with say a, a navy mm-hmm and put the the navy in there, and then maybe even have um, your trunk and you know something else. But I can I can see that 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 could be cool. Yeah. Oh, and then um, Carrie says, how about stamping it in black ink and then use like the matte green embossing powder on it? Oh well, that would be cool because it will still be like kind of speckledy in places. It would, I, I would assume. Through. <coughs> that would definitely be something to try. I don't know if I would love that. I think it would be a little bit muckily, but I don't know. Muckily. I just, I mean, I don't know ahead of time whether that would be the case. All right, I got to get my board going across here because I'm going to have... Oh, that's exciting, Betty. Prince here in a second. 
All right, I have not seen any of these. It's sight unseen. I don't know what we have here. Oh my goodness, feathers. Feathers, so this is from Fran. Where is Fran? I think she's, I don't know, her and Violet are hanging out these days. Maybe Violet, sometimes she's listening in the background. Violet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, so these are feathery plumes. It's a set in a, you know, a whole sheet. There are 15 of them, I believe. Oh my goodness. In various sizes and kind of styles. Three of them are, are kind of the same, but they are in different sizes. <laughs> Becky said they're already in my cart. <laughs> oh. It's going to be fun to see what y'all do with these feathers. I, 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 would, I would really like to have some of these feathers in a stamp also. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that that would be the next um, step with them. I think it will be fun to like let them go out to y'all and you kind of figure out which feathers are sort of your favorite. Which feathers that you think would be the best. Because we are not doing 15 different, well I mean there's, I don't know, there's about. You know I just, I, I, I love these feathers. little tiny details but let me just tell you what, if you're using this on your gel plate. Mm -hmm. You want to clean those up. You want to wash these with, with your tissues right away. I but mean I, tissues. With your um. But I think brush. these would be really fun, like, once they sort of build up, like, okay, so Rhonda posted in Makers, she was using her, um, because she's got a feather and an arrow thing, and it looked amazing, and she's like, do, do I glue it down? And we're all like, yes, it, it's, it was just too pretty. I think the feathers could be that kind of situation where, uh, um, build, after a while, yeah, you they just, just, you just sacrifice your stencil and glue it down. Yeah, they become embellishments of awesomeness. What did I do? And you get my, 15 of them. My black board. I lost my board. <clears throat> well, it was with the, the stampy stuff because you were stamping with it. So it was actually. A, is wow. it? Uh huh. Uh huh. No. I think it's underneath your all your stuff stuff there that you got going on on your table behind, you know, turn around. I think it's down below ah. there. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Oh no. All right. So these are new stencils by Carrie the Crafter. Now he does not have these yet, <laughs> so you'll have to wait to see what he does with them. But they are called chain links. I gotta send him a package of stuff. Linked, it's chain link. Yeah, chain links. Yeah, I think this one was going to be fun. And mixing this with some other um, designs. Uh, of is course, be that good. was immediately what I was thinking. Yeah. Now, you know, <clears throat> one of the things that I'm going to talk about here in a minute is, you know, how, how do you pick which, stencil, which stencils to use? with each other how, right. how do you determine that and one of the things that you do is you um, you think about positive negative areas so if you have a lot of whoops <laughs> if you have a lot of area that is not that is being uh, mat, matted out and your lines are more predominant then this would be one that you could use mm -hmm. sort of first or last. It just depends, totally. Oh. That could be that could happen, Silver Granny. Lynn. Oh, this is fun. This is Punctuation on Parade <clears throat> by Becky Bokern. Well. Hot so if you had it. the ands and then you're like, and what? Hashtags. Oh yeah, I think this this might be a dollar sign. Mm-hmm. And percent. Oh, I think it's this is this is a fun little guy. Okay, now I'm gonna put this one up here and I'm gonna put this one up here. Do you see what I'm talking about? This is more of a mat. We may have to crackle on Thursday because you got twenty five minutes. I, I think I can get some of it in. Okay. I know you want to chit chat about stencils. I do, and I, I only have two more stencils to show here. Okay. <laughs> but 
the thing about it is, is if you had this and you had made this pattern mm -hmm. here, you put this over the top of that. Do you see what mm -hmm. happens? You get you get that other. It's just an extra layer in there. That'll be that will be fun. I, I'm I'm not gonna use these today, but. I like this size. Mm -hmm. And again. And I think what's fun about this is you could even cut it up and do even more fun things with it. Like, you know, break them up, use different pieces. Because it's it's sturdy enough to be able to be cut apart. Yeah, okay, and then I you forgot at. Play, yeah. I got at, and there's a question. Mm -hmm. And there's a question. Very nicely, very nicely designed stencil, and then your little asterisk. Becky worked on it. She 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 had some. I'll say. I think didn't it take you a little while? Like because I can remember saying, "I'm I'm working on it." <laughs> and then here's the big, the grande. The okay, now this I will keep this one out because this one <laughs> will help with my design. This will go with my design. Okay. Today. Just because I like this little one, and if I were just doing little crinkle papers I would I, I would love this I would also kind of like this size see her eyes are already looking at me evilly she wants a franken I want this size of things in, in more mm -hmm. this size we could probably do that oh my nose is so sore yeah she said she had like five different versions of it she kept rearranging it uh, and you know, I think that that, that oh, I want, don't want to mess my feathers up here. I'll tell you what would be fun with the feathers. Create a design and do the long haul. Yes. Then you would have these feathers that you could use in your artwork. Oh, yeah. Later. Yeah. Like boom, boom. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, I, I got to do a blow here and then I've got to find my... Do you want me to mute? <sighs> Well, I didn't hit it soon enough. <laughs> I don't know what I did with my nose cream stuff. I've got puffs downstairs. She's just she she grabs the toilet paper. I, I don't know what's wrong with it. Hey, her. it's it's fancy. It's fancy. I know, but it's not it doesn't have the lotion in it. These here bursting what did we what did we call these? What did we call these, Eddie? Bursting buds. Bursting buds. By Eddie. Aren't they I cool? I like this little cross pattern They're, that we've got going yeah. on here a <coughs> little bit of, you know their best teeth herring vibe mm -hmm. I like that all right let's see what it looks like in the next size okay scoot up towards me towards me thank you <laughs> oh oh this is his design that was um inspired by the vintage wallpaper that they found um, in oh, the in house. house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good stuff. Good, good stuff. Job. And you did a good job. Because I, I know that was probably kind of tricky. And this is probably the one I'll use most of the time. Okay, I'm going to keep that one out too. Well, here, give me that 8 by 10 and whatever I'll send to Eddie. <laughs> Makes it easier for me. I don't have to cut another one. Our, uh, ma our really mat scraper has been... They, um, they sort of just sit over here and do nothing. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to do that with Carrie's. I will give you the... Uh, I think he just wants the 8 by 10 But I can cut it. I mean, if you want to keep I, all of I them. want the big one. Okay. I think... And the uh, little one. Because I... Sometimes when I'm trying out something, I really do like to use the little stencil. No, I don't know. Carrie, what do you want? Do you want the... I think he likes the five by seven, and the, I'll I'll cut you one. This one cuts real fast. It's nice, it's clean. Boom. Okay, so we've got those out here. <coughs> We're just gonna get started on this today, folks. We're not gonna get anywhere near um, major. Yeah, just gonna start some things. We're, we're just um, getting our feet wet. Mm -hmm. I I need to put my stamps away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you can. And I have a feeling we're going to have to pull some stuff back here before I even get started on. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that um, I meant to tell you that earlier when I was up here. 
All right, this is our piece that, our, our, yeah. All right, I'm not going to talk about these because I just talked about them with those other stencils, so that's just some more blah, blah, blah. I might hit some more of that on Thursday. Thursday. All right, now the reason oh, I kept both of these is because they're different. Big, bigger lines. Well, those don't have to be sent off to anybody. Okay, good. We have, gonna, that, that's I, an in-house. I'm not going to worry about that's it. That's an in-house. I just wanted to express, you know, yeah. why I was doing, why I kept these out. <clears throat> okay. Let's. Oh, look, we've got some stuff to pull. My gosh, this has been on here for a while. Yes. Oh. Crack them edges, y'all. We ha have some very... <laughs> These are old and crusty. Formidable. <laughs> it went over the edge. Well, there was, uh, yeah, some thick layers of oh, stuff. Oh, look happening. at that hairy business going on there. Heck, we should we should uh, save this one for July and we can give it away. Absolutely. This is your tablecloth for the picnic in the park. Bye, Leslie. Thanks for hanging. Yeah, Man, that's a all lot right. Of, Excellent. That's a lot of paint. That is a lot of paint. <laughs> um, I, I'm not liking what we have left behind because it's just not going with anything that I'm doing. No. Here. So, um, we'll just quickly. Uh, Sandy, no, I just meant that it was designed by, you know, Br most in house designs are designed by Brad these days. Because sometimes I, I, I worked on a little thing, and hopefully, you know, someday it'll be I, out soon. I don't ever do those anymore because both of them are a lot better than I am, so. Unless it's something that I want and they won't do. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll make a really crappy example, like uh, my butterfly. I, I did a butterfly. And I, uh, we red. asked her for butterflies, and she was being uh, kind of... No, I originally said, I want butterflies, and y'all wouldn't do me some. So I said, see, I want something like this. And then we're like, no. <laughs> I don't know. I, they, they were very... Whimsical. Whimsical. Mm hmm Okay, I think I've got most of the stuff that could give us problems here. Okay, now on the Aww. edge... Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Hello, Joanne. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I know. Life is hard. My paper here. I made myself a little note. And I... <clears throat> it's one of those things where if you don't talk about it... And I don't... I, I don't think always I think about it. To talk about it. I just do it. Do you want to put your dark color down first, or do you want your light color and then pull with a dark color? Because do you want to emphasize your shapes or your lines? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of six of one and half a dozen other, but I'm glad we have this, because remember, I did the crinkle in black and, and then pulled it. Well, and then the ampersand. And then I did the, the uh, stencil mm -hmm. with the gold. And then pulled it with, pulled it with the cream color. Uh, I don't know, vanilla, I think. Oh, is it the vanilla one? The the <laughs> apple barrel, vanilla. Mm -hmm. Well, the decongestant. The <laughs> it's starting <easy> to de <laughs> decongestion is very. What are you not? 15 minutes. Do it. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I should bust open my booze or not. I don't think so. 
So I, I don't know where I, I don't have my cup. It's buried. Um, just swig it from the bottle, okay. but then you contaminate. And I don't know. Here we go. This was done dark, so let's go light on our first first uh, cup. And remember when you're crinkling your your paper, what's really important is that you really crinkle it a lot. And you actually wad it up in your fist and give it a good, you know, make it into a ball. That's, a, that's important. <laughs> then you open it up and you look at it. And if you've got places where you don't have any crinkle and you want some more crinkle there, you have the opportunity to re-crinkle. Okay, quick question. Do you have a color scheme in mind uh, for this crackle or can suggestions be made? Um, I'm just kind of going with it because remember I want to do stamping on, all, on it also. So I want it to be pretty low contrast. How about teal and magenta? No, I, I don't, I'm just not feeling that. No. Okay. No, she wore no, those colors no, today. No, that's not going to work. Okay, so because I wouldn't be able to make my point. Mm, we do need. We, we we sort of need that. I could, but I, I I really I want to keep this kind of neutrally. Okay. I might change my mind. I'm just thinking about it now. Okay, this is cheap. This is cream. This is cream. Remember, we're going to start with light on this one. And it's really, I, I'm putting it on here pretty, pretty thicky. It is. <laughs> and, and, um, there is method to my, my madness here. You don't have to worry about those streaks out there right now. Because... You might be able to get two. Oh. Two crinkles? What do you mean? I might get two prints from this. Two crinkles. Hmm. Two crinkle prints. Because remember, you can iron these out. That has a lot of paint. Well, I like that very much. Yes. Then you have this, which you can then use to, um, you know, this is good that we're getting these down because these can be drying. Yes. It does look like a page. So there's your light color. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and here. Very nice. That one's been on there a little while as well. I mean, same time amount of time as the other one, I think. This was the... Um, this was some of the golden open paint. Remember, we just kept getting, and I, this was a rub off from the mm, stencil. Yes. I just put the stencil down, and this is what came off of the stencil. Oh. I love it when I get enough wrinkles that are equally distributed that it kind of works for me. We're going to work with this and see, leave that on there. Hey. Here, let me have that. Our little baby's asleep. I mean, sleep. She, they can see it. In front of her. <laughs> what? What is that an egg? What, what's the pink thing there? Yeah, it's an egg. Oh, she can, you gave her an egg. <laughs> She's tired. She had a hard day today. Okay, now, 
<laughs> We're going to leave this down out here. <clears throat> And we're going to, well, what are the colors? Teal, magenta, and then the cream. Is this going to be a little fatter of a... Oh. Yeah. Um, and I you saw that I the other one I went... And this one I grabbed here, grabbed here, grabbed uh -huh. here. It's going to be different. And see, I, I didn't get quite enough crinkle up there, so I can recrinkle that. And this edge over here, I didn't get quite enough crinkle there, mm -hmm. so I can recrinkle that. She's become a master crinkler. You become a master crinkler. And you know, you think that that isn't true, but I, I've worked with this a lot. Okay. I don't know if this is teal. I'm, we're going to say yeah. It actually, they say it is. Look. Uh, yes, Sandy. Um, I believe Deb C that is here. Uh, she has. Uh, she wasn't in love with it. Now, I think that Sharon over at Texture Junkies, Junkies, Junkies has. Um, I think that uh, who else has that stuff? Darcy? I think Darcy has some. Well, we're getting a little crazy in here, which is going to add add an extra yeah. interest to the um, process. And crinkle might be a little bit different than crackle. To me, crackle is bigger. Size matters. And Debsy posted a scathing review of the, you know, stuff that says that it's uh, wet strength when it really wasn't. <clears throat> now, you don't mm -hmm. have to briar it if you don't want to. If you want, you know, to leave more on there, you don't have to do that. Yeah, more, more crackle, more paint will be left behind. Yes. This, I've got more on my, my piece of crackle paper here, which we're going to also, yeah. we will reprint those. But you can see what's going on mm. here. Oh, and I like that it goes really well with the, it just One so happened. was already yeah. on there. Well, I kind of thought that. Yeah. And I, I really wasn't going to go the teal but um once that, <laughs> was, that was down there it was like well i can't not do that i i do like that so paula says uh, another good t-shirt would be know your crackle from your crinkle yeah absolutely mm -hmm. okay i might do that one because that one's funny and uh, it, it, it goes with if you know you know <laughs> okay you guys and your tape i get those little pieces of tape on there well, you know, so they just, yeah. I can't flick them off. <laughs> we do it to drive They're you crazy. Not, yeah, I just swear <laughs> to God. Okay. Oh. Brand new stencil here. Um, yes. Okay. And this is just to make sure it has good adhesion on the surface, okay? Now, gold. Do we want to use gold? I don't know why you talk about that. I am going to mention that. Um, so, uh, there are a bunch of other stencils that are listed in the shop from Devon. Um, that is Yolande, Devon Rex for art. Uh, she has them, so she will probably, like, once she is back from her vacation, I think, I don't, is she going to be alive this Wednesday? I feel like she is, so tomorrow perhaps. But yes, there is um, a ton of wonky blocks, 3D blocks, uh, that are all in a huge set of, or, well, they're different ones, but um, they all go together as far as, like, the design style of them. So, yes check those out and then she will debut them it 
She is alive, yes. Hopefully she will be live tomorrow. Oh, yes. And then uh, keep in mind on the, the one that Brad, or that P is showing here, like what Brad's saying in the chat, that we have made some extra connections. This was, this is sort of the um, trial run, you know, beta version. <laughs> the crash test dummy. Oh, I have a little, a, a large paint circle there that is interfering with my. <laughs> I saw that. I, did, you decided to just sort of integrate it in there. <laughs> I don't know if that was... Well, a... I was wiping off the paint that was on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to clean off her... I'm wasting a little paint here, but I think it's going to be advantageous to future use. Yeah. That's so pretty. I think this is going to be so cool looking. Oh, there you go. Now I'm going to try to get a flop off here. Okay. I don't know that I will because the gold is drying really fast, but and maybe and be careful because it is a new stencil, so it'll be a little extra sticky. So you're this gonna... stencil is pretty substantial, even though it does have some little pointy points. Hey, Sandy, one of the things to keep in mind is that we always have them in the shop. Things don't go out of like you know you're not going to miss out on anything. So I think that's one advantage that we do have, whereas like, you know, keeping inventory or if it goes out of stock or anything like that, we don't ever really do that. Now some some designs we have retired, but they are mainly ones of ours that we're like, we could have done better. <laughs> there you go. That's gonna look pretty groovy. It looks very brain-like too. I think it is, and I think, oh, my shoulder. What did you do to your shoulder? I slept on it wrong because oh. I had to sit up because yeah. I couldn't breathe. And These are cracks. That's a whole other, <laughs> maybe that's the other sign. I, I need a hospital bed that I can make it go up and down. Well, I guess they make regular beds yeah, that do that anymore. Yeah, they do. Okay, so we're going to use the bigger Alright, this is your last crack. <laughs> okay, this is it. <laughs> got to make sure I've got the right side down there. Yeah. It just really matters in the first three or four that you do. Mm-hmm. After that, it's like, you know. Did you see that stencil kind of jump? That's why you go ahead and do this. Because it, when these that have those little opening areas, uh -huh. they have a tendency to kind of bubble up. You need to make sure that they're down nice and flat. Okay, so we're going to do gold again. I know, big, big shocker, right? Got to get this back over here. This is all this organization that I have to do here, y'all. <laughs> Life is hard. Well, because I want to put my flop off down on the clean sheet underneath, but I yeah. have to do my, I want my brayer off on this one because I'm fixing this one to have a wonderful uh, color thing happening there. Yeah. Not gonna, I'm going to kind of be a little more sparing with my paint. I think I got kind of carried away on the last little go around. But I do want enough that I don't have to come back and mm -hmm. put some more down on the paper. 
Yeah. Or the stencil or the plate or whatever it is. I, I'd rather waste a little paint than have the aggravation of... Well, and you're more likely to get a flop off if you kind of get it done. If you just have the... That right. is exactly right. Yeah. Good point. Okay, I'm getting that out of the way. I'm getting my paper over here prepared for my flop off. I agree with that, Mo. Teal and gold is such an epic combination. I think it is, too. And I think pulling it with um, purple. Hello, Kim, and welcome. We're glad that you caught us, too. We're right here at the end. So we are getting some good flop-offs here. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Lovely line quality. You can see the difference in the stencil sizes here. Yeah. I think it makes it quite clear, you know, whichever one. Now, the next thing I could do that I just didn't get to today is to take either this one. Well, and yeah. Do, those need to dry. Those need to dry. You might have some of that queued up for Thursday. That's going to be beautiful, too. So maybe you fill Either up. Either one of those would be great. Now, the other option that we have is the one, uh, the chain link. What did I do with that? I just had it here. I wanted to put it down. Oh, we do, Deb. That would be cool. over Over the top of one of these, the chain link. Yes. So that you have those regular design pattern there with this very organic. And I think that contrast of the two is also a very yeah. interesting way to approach things. Definitely. All right, let's look at the other side. Look at that. I think that's going to be... All right, here. And I'm going to go side by side. Why don't you awesome and epic. Or should I take the picture afterwards? And we go... Are you going to give me anything in the... She forgot what we do. I don't know. I can't hear you. That's fine. I'll get a picture afterwards. I'm going to do the single picture because then I'll have her lay out the other stuff. Thank you guys for hanging out. We very much appreciate it. We'll see you back here on Thursday. And we'll be doing more crackalackling. And pocket packet making. Pocket packet making. Bye, guys. Thanks Bye. for hanging. Bye. <laughs> uh.